All right, let's go, NEO. Thank the Lord. We are creeping up on the weekend yet again, and we know you're getting your plans ready. And as always, we're here to let you know what's going on, highlighting places and events, as well as the people who make our region special. And this year, after a two-year hiatus, the Asian Festival is returning to Cleveland. News 5's Cameron Justice takes us to Asia Town, where she explains organizers hope to expose us not only to just Asian cuisine, but Asian culture as well. I live like 45 minutes away and we don't have like this big of a community up down there. A weekly ritual to replenish the pantry. We drive up here mainly for uh, grocery shopping and food. <laughs> and get rerooted in culture. Authentic, yeah, Asian food. Kendi Kunglevong brings her family to the heart of Asia Town often. Will that fit in here, Mom? Sometimes stopping for a bite to eat at a community staple. Aliwa is like hands down one of our top favorite uh, Chinese spots for dim sum. <laughs> We've been, you know, all over the U.S. and Liwa, like seriously, is top notch. Plenty of others feel the same way. Quality, the quality of it. Here, I've been coming here for years. It's like our traditional thing. We always come here every weekend, sometimes weekday. It's a very nice restaurant. Not only serving up authentic Chinese dishes. You should come for the roast pig, roast duck. We have dim sum, which is Chinese brunch. But being a true pillar in Asia Town for decades. They've actually put in a lot to help us. Running point to help bring Cleveland Asian Festival back to the city for the first in-person event since 2019. They feed our volunteers, they do whatever we ask, you know, they're very, very helpful. And introduce Asian culture to all. Well, we're all kind of, uh, you know, rallying together, especially this day and age where there's a lot of Asian hate, you know, not just uh, showcasing, you know, our food, but culture as well. People have misconceptions, so we're here to change that. You might not be able to tell now, but this lot will soon be transformed into the festival. There will be vendors, there will be entertainment, and of course, there will be food trucks. We have five food trucks. But as for Liwa, if they don't come here, the next nearest spots are Chicago, Toronto, and New York. Still, there's one major goal shared by everyone this weekend. The goal to leave a wonderful Chinatown for the city of Cleveland. In Cleveland, hopefully we can showcase a positive impact of what the Asian community does. Cameron Justice, News 5. So this is going to be the first year of Asian Fest since I've been here. Right. They haven't had it. Right. But uh, did I see some rain in the forecast? Uh, for the there is a little bit of rain. I think there'll be a lot of dry hours. All right. Yep. Saturday, late afternoon and evening-ish, and then Sunday primarily during the morning. But Some I warmer think, temperatures, too. Yeah, I think uh, tomorrow it's warm and windy, very warm and windy, near 90. Same for Saturday. Mm -hmm. with, with the rain holding off until 4 or 5, we can get you into the middle 80s at least. Okay. Maybe even a little warmer. We'll take it.